Hi, I'm Jimmy Chang. I'm a math expert from St. Petersburg, Florida, and we are here to talk about how to calculate angles with trigonometry. Now, all you need for this exercise are a piece of paper, a pen, and a calculator. Either your graphing calculator or a scientific calculator will do the trick. Now, there's going to be some angles that you could figure out right away, the common angles, whether it be 30 degrees, 45 degrees, 90 degrees, etc. But for those really complicated angles, uh, you definitely will need the inverse function of a calculator. And for the purpose of this exercise, we'll talk about how to use the calculator to find those uh, more obscure angles. So here we go. Now, on any calculator, you want to be aware of first these following buttons. Now you have the sine, cosine, and tangent buttons, but what you really want to be aware of are these blue functions here, sine inverse, cosine inverse, and tangent inverse. And if you notice on the calculator, on the graphing one in this case, you have a second button which is blue. That will correspond to the sine inverse, cosine inverse, and tangent inverse functions which we'll be using uh, very shortly. So suppose for instance you wanted to find sine of what angle, let's call it x, equals to, let's just say, one half. Now one operation that you'll need to do to find out what x is, is to apply the same property on both sides. You're going to take the sine inverse of both sides. Now what happens here is that the sine inverse and the sine will cancel and you're left with x. And so x is going to equal to sine inverse of 1 half. And that's what you want to enter on your calculator. So here we go. Now, because you need the blue button, you have to press second first, and then the sine inverse key, and then do 1 divided by 2. In close parentheses, and you can have 30 degrees. Now, one thing that you want to be sure of, though, is Make sure you want to operate in the procedure and units that you're looking for. Here, you notice degree is highlighted, but you can also find this in radians. But degrees are more straightforward to the average reader, so we're going to operate our answers under degree form. Now, suppose you have want to find out cosine of what degree, let's call this y, is equal to, let's just say, 0 0.35. Now, you notice we applied sine inverse on both sides, so we're going to apply cosine inverse on both sides. Now, just like before, if sine inverse and sine will cancel, so will cosine inverse and cosine. So you're going to have y is equal to cosine inverse of 0 0.35. And again, you'll enter the calculator in the same way, second, cosine inverse of 0 0.35, close parentheses, and you'll have a decimal answer. And you just want to simply round, so you have y is equal to, let's round to two decimal places, 69.51 degrees. And the same thing will work for tangents, and all it takes is the tangent inverse function for it to work out. That's how you calculate angles using trigonometry.